Okay, the first thing is I've got absolutely no idea how to use this machine. Uh, this video, or whatever it is, is strictly for the information of the client, my friend Jerry, imported from Las Vegas to Norfolk, and my advisor, uh, Tony, formerly Tin Bum, now Titanium Bum, following his double um, hip operation uh, in um, Melbourne, Australia. Anyway, the problem is that on the 21st of March, where I'm nearly banged up, um, I've been given this job for Jerry. Here it is. It's, um, I don't know what it is actually, but I've got to make it. Uh, apparently you sit at it and plant things. I've made a stand for the saw so I can wheel it around. Then I made a, a stand to prop up all these bits of timber and started by re-busting the um, workmate, having busted it once before. Um, so I've unbusted it by screwing it all together. So now we've got enough um, support, I think, to start work on this damn thing. Right, the problem with this, the first problem I've found is that um, this is, I believe, an American design, so it's all in dollars and cents, or feet and inches, um, which I haven't worked in for some little time, having um, gone metric when we joined the EU. So I've had to um, convert the whole damn thing into metric um, as we're still in the EU in the UK and I think I could get myself into trouble by using feet and inches. Jerry, it's suddenly um, cooled down here so I've had to put a bit more insulation on. Um, I'm going to have a commercial break. Oh, a message to Tony Tinbum. By the way, Titanium Bum is taking too long to say, so I haven't got much time, so he's gone back to Tin Bum. Um, he advised me that I should always lop off the ends of any piece of wood to make sure it's square. But I got lucky here, and I've got a 2.4 metre length, and I want, as it happens, 175 and 65, which adds up to 240. So apologies, Tony, I haven't got anything to cut off. Sorry about that. Phew, it'll just go in. 75 long. I really don't like carrying heavy things on the roof in case uh, they fly off and injure a parking wall. If you want to do carpentry, do it to the tune of this one. Here we are, Jerry and Tony. End of day one. And we've got the top panel done. Hope the sun comes out tomorrow. Cheers. Hello. Day two. 22nd of March. Year of our Lord 2020. Um, sun's out. Still drafty. I'm going to turn this round. Hang on a minute. How do you do this? How do you turn it Start again. Right, so making the bottom should be a little easier. That's all I've got to do is slap the same job on the top, so let's get on with it. Uh, just to prove I am doing this myself. There you go. Hey, Tony, look, will you stop nagging? I did measure the diagonals to make sure the damn thing was square. Okay, does it look square? So just give me a break. And by the way, you can't have too many cramps in your workshop. These are pretty classy gear. Look, two mil tin bum, look, this is within two mil. I know what you like. Just leave me alone. It's, it's pretty damn straight. It's good enough for jazz. Tony, what do you think? I reckon good enough for jazz, don't you? Huh. Hello, hello. Still mothering Sunday, 22nd of March 2020. And we made a little bit of progress. Uh, just a bit more to do. Uh, time for lunch. Lunch time, Sunday.
Okay, Jerry and Tony. Um, day three, it's the 23rd of March. The sun is out, but it's cool. Cool enough to stick your Stetson on. Um, as we're pretty much banged up here, I'm having to rely on bits of timber that I've had lying around since 1985. Uh, fortunately, I don't, being a squirrel, I don't chuck a damn thing away. Um, so here we go. I'm going to turn the camera around. How the hell did you do that? Hold on. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to improve on the original design by having a drop-in removable tray. Um, I shan't be covering this in my video because it's a closely guarded secret, the design. Um, but I'll get back to you later. Tony, um, I've just discovered a new piece of kit. Um, there's a thing called a nail. Have you ever heard of it? Um, I looked in um, my father's gear and I found a whole bunch of two and a half inch nails, as they're called. Um, they're rather strange things. They don't have a thread. So I've been screwing for... I'll start again. I've been screwing things together for years, um, not knowing that uh, you could actually fix things together without with, with a little piece of kit and no thread. Anyway, I'm going to give it a go. Here we are, Tony. I've got to get towards um, fixing the little sieve thing with a bit of galvanised, whatever you call it. What is it called? Ah, strong welded mesh from Sheffield, which I've had in stock for forever. So here we are getting on near the end of day three. Tony and Jerry, the sun's out. It's um, day four, I think, and even more uncertain, I think it's Tuesday. As for some reason, every damn day looks the same these days. Um, I've pretty much got as far as I can with this damn thing. Jerry, I hope you're going to use it. Now, Tony, um, just um, so that uh, this really needs your chop on it, because I don't like to finish a job unless you've approved it. So I'm going to turn the camera around and um, give you a look. Oh, hello, uh, Jerry and, and Tony. I've got a major problem here. Uh, the inspector's arrived. Um, uh, what do you want to What do you want to say about it? It looks extremely good to me. Can you lift the uh, lift up so. lift up the gizmo and see if it works? <coughs> ah, yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Ah. Yeah. Very good. Pass. Pass. My God, what happened? Okay. What How the hell are you going to drive it up to Norfolk? I that, don't know. That is, that's the one th thing I'm wondering about. Mm. <laughs> anyway, it's what day is it? Uh, it's Monday. Monday. And the inspector is satisfied. Have you got any other comments, my dear, for either Tony or Jerry? What are you listening to? Oh, there you go. Gonna have a break. Oh no! Oh, there we go. Get away. <laughs> I'm going to stop it. <clears throat> okay. All right. You may wonder what this giant glue roll is doing. Well, I found this this morning in one of our excellent local stores who are doing a lot better than the big multinationals. Um, and I'm thinking of auctioning this thing, whatever it is, for charity. So I'll get back to you on that. The rest of it, um, okay, the way it's going to work is there's an old scrap of um, decking here on the front 
So there's going to be decking front to back uh, with a hole in it to take the uh, sieve thing. And then there's going to be some more decking a shelf up there and a backing to it. Uh, that's not the right piece of gear up, the, up there at the moment, but uh, that's what it's going to be at the end of the day. Then Jerry will get it up to Norfolk and um, get going on it, and uh, you can sit at it and throw lots of plants. Okay, I think that's pretty much it as far as I can get at the moment. So, signing off. Cheers. Uh, no, I can't sign off. Jerry, there's a, a PS. Um, this doesn't job doesn't get done unless I get the decking, and um, I'm getting it from that fantastic outfit, the Cock and Pull It at Tatterset on the um, A148 between uh, Kings Lynn and, um, and Fakenham. Uh, I'm hoping that there isn't some uh, algorithm somewhere cutting out the word and pull it. Um, so uh, if, you're, if you go by, uh, just shout across the road saying, could you please save that um, decking for me because I need it. Okay, cheers, take care. Uh, yeah. PPS, keep washing your hands and no mingling. Look it up if you haven't heard the word before. The beauties love the adrenaline rush of that. <laughs>